Hi Droobies, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming here for Vlogmas. As you can see, cannot speak, and I'm out of breath. As you can see from the title below, today we're doing a get ready with me for my Christmas date. Ooh, it's my first date in a good amount of time. So stay tuned to see how I accomplish this look. I honestly did not expect the wig to come out this nice. It looks very good. Everything for this wig will be in the description below. Like you can see how long she is. Oh, she's so pretty. In my description below, cool the intro. day it is me so we're just gonna get into the getting ready with me um so I'm just gonna wash my face and I think what I'm gonna you know not the let me just tell you my backstory I took a shower I'm in the towel robe you know feeling cozy gotta get in that good energy you know going on a date and you know I don't date so you know it's a little bit exciting it's a little bit so um what am I gonna wash my face with I'm looking at my bar soap over there Thinking I might use my bar soap, but then I'm looking over here at my liquid purity soap thinking I might use that too But then I'm thinking if I use the purity soap I have to do this with the buckle and that's not gonna look cute and the bar soap just Goes so maybe I use the bar soap so let me go get the bar soap hit a little bit of the water And then we'll come back with a nice little scrubby dub dub um, Fast face thingy so you'll see me I have a nice clean face um what I'm gonna do now is just brush my teeth you know when you're going out and you're doing something like what is one for do it and you know can complete the whole clean look so that's what we're gonna do and we're just gonna give my face at some time to just really dry like I hit it like with the towel and everything but you know it's still a little damp so I'm gonna brush my teeth and do that and be right back so guys you know I'm already I already told you I'm going on a date but it's a first date so I'm feeling a little bit jittery so I said you know what let me draw for my little calm my little calm mist spray and my little calm you can't see the two of them right the calm serum and calm down my nerves you know a little bit nervous so that's what we're gonna do now gonna go in with the spritz and then the serum Okay, so the first thing I got is, you know, everybody starts with brows and mine are in need of a little shaping, but it's not terrible. So, you know, we're gonna try and save it. So let me show you what I use for my brows. So as I said before, I'm really new to the makeup game. I'm like beginner level. So I got this pencil from Sephora and you know, it actually really works for me. I really see a difference. And then I also got this um, brown mascara as well. And um, I actually really like it. It's not too much, but I still I can see the difference. So I feel like it's really perfect for me. Maybe in a few months I'll go a little bit heavier. Maybe I'll get the brow pomade, if that's how you say it. And then I'll start to draw it in with like the actual brush. Just baby steps. Let's grow together. So 
let's get into doing my brow. So I played myself. I don't know why I thought I could do this in the camera. I really tried though. I'm gonna have to look over here in my mirror and be right back when they're done. So they feel super dark tonight. I don't know what it is. And I haven't added this yet. Should I still add this? Yeah, we're gonna be bold. So I'm gonna, hope I don't look scary. Hope I don't scare him away and he goes running in the bushes. So I'm gonna put on, I'm just showing you guys how it looked with just the pencil. I feel like this one's arched a little bit more than this one. But let's just ignore that. And we're gonna put on the mascara now. So I'll see you in a few. All right, so now I went in with the brow mascara. And you know what? I don't wanna ask for you guys to leave the comments below, but leave the comments below. Help a girl out. Let's teach Drew if there's something wrong, okay? But be, be kind, be kind about it. My feelings will get hurt, okay? Anyway, oops. Anyway, now we're gonna get into the little eye stuff that I do. And I really don't be doing a lot because first of all, I'm just trying to get the whole, I'm trying to get the face down. So doing the, the three type of eyeshadows and all that stuff, it's just overwhelming. I'm not there yet. We're doing one color, maybe two, and that's it. So this is the palette that I'm using. I think my friend got it for me super sweet of them they know i love like neutral colors and stuff like that that's just me because you know they try they know a girl trying to look simple but cute you know what i mean so we're gonna go in with i gotta figure out which brush i'm sorry we're gonna go in with this color and um we're gonna go like right oh that looks scary on camera Oh my God, give me a second. How scared, ooh, child. I told you one color is what I just should have done and kept it simple and kept it pushing. Okay, we're just gonna see if it's gonna work and if it doesn't work then we're gonna never just remove it, okay? It's just a lot of shimmer. I didn't expect that was shimmer. I normally just use this color. Let me show you. I normally just use this gold and call it a day. Does it look scary? Maybe it's just the lights. Maybe it's just the lights. Cause in this camera, it doesn't look scary. And you know it's gonna be dark outside. You know what, let's just leave it alone. Let's leave it alone and let's move on. So now I'm gonna go in with this palette that I also got from Sephora. And it has like, let me show you, like a teacher. It has the blush, a shimmery, not, oh my God, did I call it this? It has the glow, the glow, a shimmery glow blush, and then the blush. So, we're just gonna go in with a little bit of the glow right here along the nose, along the cheek, this cheek, and this one right here. Yeah, and then I'm not gonna be wearing anything that shows like this, so I would normally put some like right here, like my, cause I have like these really pronounced collarbones. Child. So sometimes I'll put some right there because I mean, if you're looking at it, you might as well shimmer, you know? So I would put some right there, but since it's not showing, you know, I'm just gonna leave it on. Yeah. So now I'm all shiny and I'm gonna look like the shimmering lights that I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna look like a twinkling light. And because why not, I like to take some of the highlight and just go back in because why not, you know? I know it's the highlight, I know. I know it's the highlighter. I'm very much aware. But that's just what I like to do, okay? That's just what I like to do, because I'm a gold glowy girl. Now I'm gonna take this blush. It is like very prominent. So I'm not gonna do, I'm trying to try my best not to do a lot because sometimes it goes crazy. And then I saw on TikTok that they said to put the blush like here and bring it up here in a way and that it kind of contours in a way and it's like okay like why not so i did it like a few times and i kind of liked how it came out so hopefully i can do it again i think the camera's making me nervous so and just because i feel like i want to be in the way i'm gonna put a little more i'm put just a little bit more see this is my problem then i always overdo it and then i'm like ah what am i gonna do
So you guys in the comments, let me know if you've ever tried doing your blush like this and if there's a different way I should try to do mine. I'm really open. Let me take time with the little blush. Jeez, I'm almost stop. I'm really open to learning and hearing different techniques. So just let me know if you have any secrets. So now we're gonna go in with my lips. So what I like to do is line my lips with a dark brown liner. I don't know why. Oh, I need a sharpener. Hold on. So now that we're sharpened, as I said before, I like to go in with like a dark brown liner. Don't know why, don't know where I get this lovely style, but I absolutely love it. And then sometimes I go in, ugh, I can't speak. Sometimes I go in with a naturalish, pinky, neutral lip gloss. I get the, I use the one from Fenty, but I'm not really feeling that tonight. I'm feeling I want to use a regular gloss. I haven't done that in forever. So we're going to get into that now. Then we smudge. It's kind of blend out just a little bit. You see, it makes me, you see on camera, you can't tell me that I'm look just a little bit grown. Made me look just a little bit grown, don't lie. Don't lie. And then I got this lip gloss from the hair store and I hear it's really good. I really like it. It's like this hydrating lip oil treatment gloss. You know what I mean? It's a regular lip gloss, but I really like this one. glossy lip like you know the vibes just it's giving playful youthful and it's minty it's like tingling love that so now we're gonna put on some mascara hopefully it makes my lashes pop on camera hopefully so let me show you the two that I'm gonna be using today so I use two mascaras I don't know why I just feel like it gets the job done I mean I feel like one mascara could really get the job done I don't know why I use two maybe I'm just extra but it works for me and it makes me feel good. So, not me falling over. What is going on? So I use the bang. Yeah. And then I also use the Better Than Sex Mascara. Now my mom is absolutely in love with this mascara. And I actually like it too. I see how it works. But I just like using both of them together. If I couldn't do eyeshadow and lip liner on camera, you know I can't do this on camera. So I'm gonna be right back and hopefully you can see a difference. Okay guys, so this is the completed makeup look. Okay, just leave me alone. Maybe when the wig is on, you guys might fall in love with it more if you're not in love with it now. I know you can see the mascara though, cause I can see the mascara. And that's why I just feel the need to use two. So we're gonna get into the wig now. Now let me tell you the backstory about the wig. So I did the unboxing and I'll put it right here and then I started to do a slight install and then, um, you know, I just didn't record the rest and I'm gonna do another install of it right now. So that means you guys can see the versatility of the wig. You can see that you can put it on again and live your life and it's a very cute wig. So we're gonna get into that now. So before I go in and spray what they got to be, this is a four by, oh no, not four by four, sorry. A, um, no, this is a four by four. Four by four lace closure wig, um, the crimp style wave hair. And, oh, breathe. And I wanna get into the pros and cons about this wig. So first of all, it's an HD lace wig, which I love. Most people think HD lace wigs is just like completely transparent, which it kind of is in a way, but it do, it just shows up lighter. Like it's kind of white right here, you know what I mean? But once you spray it down and do your concealer and stuff, everything's Gucci, you know what I mean? And that's one of the things I really like about this wig is that, you know, it has the HD lace. Breathe. You guys know I've been out of breath recently, like, whew, child, anyway. So then I also really like the waves in this wig and you guys will see that in a minute. And I like that it's kind of low maintenance. Like all you really have to do is take, uh, once your lace right here is fixed, eyebrow to eyebrow, you're good to go. And then honestly, I'm not really one of those that do the edge in the middle. So the two that swoop right here is fine. The hair quality is really nice. You know what, I'll just take it out so you guys can see it. Like it's really nice and it's luscious and it's just really soft. You know what I mean? And I love how soft it feels. Like I could literally do this all day. And yeah, it's a sponsored video, but I'm talking the truth. I'm talking from my heart, you know? 
and like just get into like the waves you see and I just really like it so yeah and this is the length of the wig I believe it's 22 inches long and it's just super pretty you know what I mean um for the big head friendly ladies I kind of fall I think I have a medium head so this wig does feel a little tight on me so just be mindful you know what I mean just be mindful maybe up your wig size on the website and um, I'm just gonna have everything in my description below so let's get into installing this wig again I want to show you guys that's really versatile so I already cut the lace you know I've already worn it once and um, here I am just doing it again so I already took out the edges that I had the last time plus a little more hair you know why not and I did the same thing over here where did everything go yeah right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray 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 use the blow dryer and dry it and then we will cut these little hairs and then I'm gonna go in well I'm gonna tell you everything we'll go step by step here is your time lapse All right, guys, so it is stuck on. You know, I'm not gonna pull too hard, but you know, you get the gist, it's stuck on. These are my little edges. So we're just gonna snip this excess hair that just, like these little strands weren't a part of the baby hair before. And I know my baby hairs are kind of long, but you guys are gonna see why I made them this long. Just because it just gives me a little bit of variety, blah, 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 you know the vibes. So we're gonna snip them now. So I just plugged in my little mini hot comb. I'll show you guys what that looks like. One sec. So this is my little mini hot comb and I'm gonna use it to kind of just curl my baby hairs in a way so that it just swoops better and then I do it so long just so that it kind of blends in with the rest of the hair. Especially since it's a closure, I just feel like it's gonna just, you know, cover up the little thingies at the side, you know what I mean? So this is my first date that I've had in like a little while and I decided that I want to go on a Christmas date because you know I like the lights and we're gonna go and I just feel like it's a nice thing to do why not I mean it's nice to get to know people nice to do something different and um that's that my outlook on dating right now is I'm not dating a lot but um you know I'm open ish and um, I said, you know what, why not reconnect with this person and see how life's been treating them. Do them for a little while. So I said, why not? No harm. And then if I don't, dating, the best thing about it is that if I don't really like hanging out with you, I mean, it's simple. We don't know, this is our first date. If I don't like it, I don't have to go again. <laughs> so, you know, why not? That's my little chat on dating. And I just feel like... You know what I mean? I don't want to stop any blessings that could come into my life. Like, I know I'm, I told myself that I'm on this path of healing and um, just self-discovery and just trying to put that time and energy into myself for once instead of just trying to love somebody so hard that I just want to take that time and put that back into myself. And I realized that, yeah, that's fun and everything, but I want to go out and have my heart race just a little bit. So, that's my other side of the rant that's a little ooh let's go out that's a little ooh exciting toxic let's go but you know I'm healed but break my heart don't but I'm open break my heart no but you know the vibe so that's my little rant you know while my um I can't even speak while my thing is cute enough okay I'm done now so guys while I'm waiting for the um flat iron to heat up just wanted to show you the boxing that the hair came in it's this really pretty multicolored box you know the vibes and then it came in this plastic wrap and normally it says the inch on there 24 inches i don't know if i said this was 22 but it's 24 and you know the regular hair thing i just wanted to show you guys you know why not well it's just, you know heating up so guys, now that my little mini flat iron is heated, so I'm, oh, breathe, Dran, breathe. I'm so out of breath, my God. 
Okay, so as you can see, I just did both of them down because I just feel like when I do my swoop, it just might work out better for me. So we're going to get into that now. I feel like... So I've been going back and forth, okay? I have a little... <sighs> Breathe. I'm so, I'm so sorry. This is just our life right now. <sighs> Breathe. I feel like, like ever since I had COVID, <sighs> my breathing is just... Oh my God. Anyway. I feel like I've been having this back and forth battle between mousse on the edges and gel on the edges. And when I do the mousse, it holds it, you know? Like the mousse will like hold this curl and everything, but the gel like sticks it, you know what I mean? And I feel like I need a little bit of both. So what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna go in with the gel for the edge itself on both, and then I'll get the mousse and just put it on the curl part so that it kind of stays. Cause I feel like the curl is kind of mixing with this curl and that's gonna be a vibe. So now that the edges are just kind of gelled down, I'm gonna get this mousse that I put in my hand and I'm just gonna smooth it on the curl that I did and just, you know what I mean? Just curl it, but not stick it on my face. So, you know, it's just kind of hanging out there. But honestly, I kind of like that. I'm not gonna lie. I just feel like it's gonna really blend with um, everything. And then I'm also just gonna put some of the mousse on top of the edge that I did. Because why not? And then since I have extra, I'll just put some on top of the hair too. Because right now the hot comb is heating up. Cause you know, we gotta flatten the girl out and give her some volume in the front. So she's heating up and I'll just come back then. Because I want this to dry a little bit and then scratch that before we come in with the hot comb we're gonna do the concealer and fix up my part a little bit so give me a second let me wash this stuff off my hands so I forgot to say that I go in with my wax stick so I'm just gonna push this up and I just kind of put it down at the front just to kind of tame any of the like little flyaways that might be on top you know what I mean like He's gonna, or he already knows it's not my hair. So I might as well make it look flawless the best way I can. So I just kind of flatten it out. And then I have alcohol in my hand. Let me put it down because I'm not ready for her yet. And then I kind of lift this part up here and I put the wax right here too. Just so that it does, you know, so that the volume can be held right here at the front in a way. I don't know. This is just what really does work for me. It just gives me the look that I like. And in life, you have to do what works for you. So then I just kind of push it down. Screw it on tight. I've had this for a good while. So y'all go get yourself a wax stick. It's lasting me forever. Okay. Ready. Yeah, so it actually turned out very nice. Let me just come like this at the front. I love giving myself a little bump, but it's very smooth, very pretty. I feel very pretty and cute. I'm ready to go on my date. So now let's get the outfit together. I'm not gonna do anything um big. Um, it's just a chill day. Like we're just gonna go do something. I'm not gonna get into the. Day. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. I'm not gonna get into the details, but um, just something chill. So I will be right back in the full fit. So guys, this is the fit. I don't know if I'll keep it cropped. Maybe I'll bring it down just, you know, for modesty. I think I will for modesty. And um, let me try and angle you guys so you guys can see the full fit. So guys, this is the full fit. As I was saying, I don't know if I wanna like crop it up like this, and then it's like a matching set, you see? So maybe I'll, I'll keep it down. You know what I mean? Keep it a little modest, keep it cute, you know, first date vibes, and then the hair will come forward. You know what I mean? Cute, nice, comfy. It's like a really nice material because we're just gonna go on like a nice walk and stuff. Hold on. Honestly, I'm a very simple girl. I really don't need a lot. So just, and my love language is quality time. So just going out and doing something like that and having a nice conversation, eating something is perfect with me. So that's why I picked out this outfit. <sighs> breathe, Jen, breathe. 
oh damn originally this was not my outfit because i was not showing i was gonna wear this like turtleneck black um bodysuit with a black joggers but i couldn't find the black joggers and this was just sitting out and i said you know what this is chill this is cute i'll probably match it with some white sneakers and maybe like a white bag maybe a white fanny i don't know we'll just decide or i could do my black sneakers and my black bag i have a sage green bag but i feel like that's just gonna do too much so i'm not gonna do that but thank you for getting to the end of my video if you did like this video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you again here tomorrow for vlogmas thank you love you guys bye bye